Our next honoree is a man who everyone loves to be around. He never meets a stranger. He's the first black news director of a major tele, I should say major radio station in Dayton. Let's meet Mr. A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown started his radio career in 1970 as a beat reporter for WONE WTUE Radio. It wasn't long before he was covering news from fender benders to congressional hearings to presidential campaigns. I was um, an, as an emerging uh, political person and A.J. would be one of those persons who always asked me relevant, relevant issues or questions around some issues that I was representing back then. and. Uh, so it's always good to have a, a, a face to look like mine to, to, uh, to ask me about my business or just business of the Dayton community. So uh, I really appreciate it having him there. A.J. managed a staff of five full-time and several part-time reporters. It was quite an achievement back in those days to be a black news director in one of Dayton's major radio stations. A.J. Brown. I say that name and I start laughing. It's been almost 40 years since uh, Ron Owens, I think, was the news director at WONE, and he brought A.J. into the newsroom at the County Courts building. We had our own press room, and all of us hung out there. A lot of Dayton reporters hung out in that press room, and A.J. Brown came in and shook my hand, and he smiled, that gorgeous smile, and I think I fell in love with him from the minute I met him. His charm... His warm personality was just always there. AJ was the same no matter when you saw him. He was a great guy. During his 20 years at WONE and WTUE, the station was rated many times as number one. And the news department won several journalistic awards. I had been around in a number of different small markets and in Cincinnati. Thought I knew what street reporting was about, but then I saw AJ Brown in action. He's a guy who had street smarts and savvy all rolled into one package and he taught a lot of us how to work the cop shop and how to work the various courts and also the city hall. And uh, also not to accept official statements at face value, to look behind the curtain, look a little deeper to find the real story. AJ's community involvement was also important. He was heavily involved in the explosive growth of Omega Baptist Church, serving on its board of directors. A.J. Brown was one of the black pioneers in Dayton broadcasting. Tonight, the Dayton Area Broadcasting Hall of Fame welcomes A.J. Brown into the class of 2009. I, I feel like the president. Be seated. <laughs> well, it is certainly an honor to be here. Uh, I appreciate all the support I got over the years. I see some friends and family out at table number 26. Shout out to you. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how a guy gets from Way, Mississippi to here. Uh, Way, Mississippi is way out in the woods in Mississippi. It is so far until they just got cell phone service last week. <laughs> but at any rate, I would just simply say I'd like to uh, thank the uh, Broadcasters Hall of Fame Committee for all of their hard, hard work. And i also like to reveal who my nominator was, Marsha Barnhart. Marsha finally figured out how to give me a date. You notice I'm sitting right by her. She figured it was safe here. But at any rate, uh, Jim Johnson called me, I think, on March the 13th and said, congratulations, you're being inducted into the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. And Jim has been accused of a few things before, but uh, never his ability to tell jokes. So I thought he was joking. I was on the dance floor at Ellison Center trying to learn how to do a line dance. <laughs> and so I just got back on the dance floor and continued dancing. And then I started wondering about what I was going to say today, and uh, as of last night, I was still working on it, and I was working on it this morning. I had it down to about 20 minutes, 
And I got this funny feeling, so I called Rita Phillips, my good friend of many years this morning, and I said, Rita, how long do we have? About five minutes? She said, one minute. So I stopped working on the speech and threw it away. It was a great run. What I loved about the media was this. You could wake up and you, I just couldn't wait to go to work because I didn't know what my day was going to be like. And that's a blessing because many people work many, many years and they know what their day is going to be like. Same old, same old. So I would wake up and I couldn't wait to get to work. I didn't know what was happening and that kept me going and I love it. If you have that opportunity, go for it.